Hey, what's up YouTube? Um, just wanted to make a video unboxing and short review of the WOW Auto uh, T9 projector. This is a DLP projector. Um, it's a little bit larger than some of the smaller Android projectors. However, this has native um, 1080p, I believe. Um, there isn't a lot of information on this projector on YouTube, so I wanted to make this video today um, to sort of um, put something out there for people to get an idea of how this projector is. So without further ado, let's uh, go ahead and open the box. And then after I do the unboxing, I will set it up and do a short review. So opening this with one hand might be kind of tricky. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to just use a pinky. All right. All right. So inside the box, there is a case. There's my hand on the case, just to give you an idea of scale. Patek Philippe. Alright, sort of zippers. Alright, I skipped ahead there a little bit because I was struggling to open it. Um, so here are the contents. You got the remote. Uh, this looks like it's all pretty much paperwork. What else is in here? The strap to the bag. Like they gave you some USB cables. I believe that's USB. Uh, you know what? That's HDMI. There you go. There's the power cable, power brick. Um, so before I go ahead and unpack it and show it to you, I just wanted to mention that this particular unit um, was not advertised on Amazon as the T9. It was just advertised as a WOW auto projector. Um, however, on the box, you can see that it is, in fact, a model T9. There you go. It's the 2020 version. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to skip ahead and we'll show you the projector setup. Hey, so welcome back. Um, I got the projector set up on my tripod. Um, this is what it looks like. There are lights on in this room. There's light coming in from the outside. And that picture, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that picture. Look at that. Let's zoom in so you can see the crispiness. Mmm, crispy. So anyways, Right now it's installing an update and I will make one more short display of the image quality, lights on and lights off with some um, actual either YouTube footage or some HD movie footage. All right, um, what else do I wanna show you? So I have this connected to my Anchor Bluetooth speaker. Uh, it actually sounds pretty decent. Now, so far, the only way I've been able to get YouTube to work is to cast it from my phone. Um, I haven't logged into Netflix, but I am getting an error with the YouTube app on here. Okay, so you can see that. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, I'm back again with one more update for you. Um, I was able to get the YouTube app to work on the projector's um, system itself. So now I pulled up um, some drone footage, some drone footage video for you that uh, should be in 1080p. Um, go ahead and zoom in on it so you can see what I'm seeing. So this is the test with some lights on. So you can see there's a lot of ambient light in this room right now. Um, and let's say you just like were watching something in the background, like the news or just some television show. 
you know, this is tolerable. I can see it. And with my speaker here, I can certainly hear it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the uh, lights off. Okay, and here we are with the lights off. Now there is a little bit of um, daylight left outside, so there's still a little bit of ambient light coming in. However, um, the image looks stunning. I mean, look at that. That zoomed all the way in. My normal camera settings here. I mean, come on. Beautiful. Now there's some, like I said, there's some anomalies on the screen but that's only um, an effect from me videotaping it. You can't actually see that when you're looking at it on the wall. So yeah, uh, WOW Auto T9. I gotta say, um, I spent 450 bucks on this thing. I'm glad I didn't cheap out and get the uh, 420p versions that are only like $200. I've had one of those before and I liked it but I'm really glad I went for the upgrade. I mean, this is just incredible. I now have, you know, close to a hundred inch screen in front of me here for 450, not bad. All right, and so that sums up my review. Um, once again, I hope that was helpful and I highly recommend this projector. Um, go get one.